For weeks now, water taxis and boat operators have been having issues crossing the mouth of the Halover Creek. On several occasions, a small boat has had to transfer passengers from larger vessels that have become stuck in the mud. The struggles are as a result of silt buildup in the area just off the coast between the Bliss Center for the Performing Arts and the Fort Street Tourism Village in Belize City. It affects us because we can't move as we, we, we choose, huh? due to uh, the low tide and plus the building up, especially the uh, fishing boats and the uh, engines. It's hard for you know, the engine to, to uh, operate you know, in a good condition because due to the, uh, the uh, mud, the mud, you know, getting the propeller, and you could uh, yeah. Uh, ruin your engine, no? It has been reported to us uh, that the siltation, the sediments have built up in the mouth of the Harlover Creek. We also know that shortly uh, the cruise tourism may also resume. So it becomes very, very incumbent on us as the authority and to ensure that the mouth of the Harlover Creek is dredged. While a recurring problem, the situation this time around is not as extreme as it was back in 2016 when the increased concentration of sediments or sand in water caused the displacement of fishes and the death of other organisms and aquatic plants in the area. Back then, the pungent smell was unbearable for residents along the southern foreshore, not to mention it was an unpleasant sight for tourists and commuters. What siltation does basically is blocks the sunlight from going to the bottom of, of the sea floor in this case. And so you have fishes in the area, you have fish in the area. Naturally the fish will move out of the area, uh, but you have aquatic plants that cannot move. You have some microorganisms that are basically are attached to substrate. Those won't, won't be able to lose and because the sun does not go all the way down to the bottom now because of the amount of silt, all of those organisms basically die. And with a built up like this, again, this, this uh, will kill everything. There's nothing basically that could live in a condition like this, or hardly anything, I should say. It is the responsibility of the Belize Port Authority to ensure that navigation through the channel is unimpeded. Port Commissioner Major Gilbert Suaza says that they will engage with stakeholders from private and public sector to chart the way forward. What needs to be done? One, we need to ascertain the, um, the amount of sediments that needs to be extracted to ensure, one, that the channel in the Halover Creek is properly cleared so that then it can facilitate the access of all those fisher folks, the water taxis, for them to be able to get to their respective mooring and or um, marina in the case of Fort Street and in the case of San Pedro Belize water, water, water taxi. So once the hydrographic survey is conducted, then a uh, dredge will be, will be certainly um, a, a contractor will be tendered uh, with a view then to conduct the, um, the, the dredging based on the amount of sediments that yeah, need to be, to be removed so that we can have that easy and easy access to and through the channel. With cruise tourism to restart in the next few months, Major Swaza says that an urgent meeting is expected to be held next week because the dredging process is extensive and costly and will require financial commitment from all sectors. Dwayne Moody for News 5.